Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And this week we are going to go to the end. Because last week I said I've never been and I thought this will be fun to do this week. Um, At least we don't have to worry about the end dragon and enderman and all that kind of stuff. So I am just getting some foods ready to take with me. Because obviously, even though you're in peaceful, you still can die from hunger. And I was making some foods. I've got uh, chicken katsu from Pam's Harvest Craft. I made a tasty sandwich um, from Better with Mods. And I got this book. Actually, let me put that on my hot bar. I have no idea what it is, but it managed, it completed a quest. So I guess it's just letting you know about Better with Mods. Um, okay. Just letting you know about Better With Mods, but it completed a quest. I don't know... Modded Minecraft? No, the little things? I don't know what it completed. I really don't know. And of course there's no way of actually telling what it completed because it hasn't, it doesn't indicate. But I did get a, no not peaceful recipes. I don't know what it completed but it came up to say um, better with mods. But I don't know that one, no. No, I, I, I don't know. So yeah, so we have a new book, but I'm just making some tiny progression sandwiches. So I was going to do some baking sandwiches. Fried egg. I need some of those. I need the bacon. And those are cooking. It's got four eggs. All right, there was bacon. I just did. I see it. Mutton. We don't want any mutton. I wanted beef, but they don't have any beef. All right, we've got four eggs and four bacon. I need to put a crafting table on this side. I think. Um, if I remember correctly, let me see, no, I think it was something like this. Oh no, you needed three. And that gives you bacon and eggs. And then you can use the bread to make sandwiches. Right, let's put those four in there. Uh, take two of the eggs out. Oh, that takes forever. That's three eggs. Okay. Um, let's take you out. Put the eggs in. I don't. I think cooking it Pam's way is a lot faster. Probably. But we just need a couple of um, fried eggs and then we can make some more um, bacon and egg sandwiches. Right. Oh, we got the crafting table pet. I forgot about that. Nope, that's the chest. Okay, um, oh, I can't remember. Bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs. That's what I did, right? Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, fine. Nope. Eggs up in the corner and the bacon. On that side. What? 
that's what I did, right? I know, other way around. <laughs> that's why it didn't work. That is why it didn't work. Let's look again. Bacon and the two eggs on the side. I said I don't have two eggs. Oh, never mind. Let's just make the sandwiches. Alright. Um, two of those. Two of those. So that means then I didn't actually have to make that last... Well, I can eat that as well. Alright, let's put that in my backpack so we have food we have ender pearls or eyes of ender I need to put those on my hot bar and I've been checking do we have an IR bookcase let's put you in the bookcase so I know you throw the Eye of Ender up in the air and you follow it wherever it goes and that's how you find the fortress. Right? There it is. Why? Okay, so we need to go this way. Let's cross over. And I know this is something that everybody does. Like going to the nether. But like I said, I've never done it. Not nether. I keep calling it the nether. I mean the end. I've never done it like by myself. Right this way. Did we just lose that? I think we possibly did. Because I know some of them break. Alright, well then we'll keep going this way. You know what I forgot to bring? A boat. I forgot a boat. Right. Um, when we get to the trees, we'll try again. Really? up right I should have bought the slime sling with me it threw it but I don't know where it went okay have we should we have gone this way let's go back Let's go here. Okay. That way. Oh, that way. Okay. Yep, this is going to take me a while. This is going to take a while, but I'm going to spare you guys the gory painful details if I can ever get out of the water and I am going to uh, I need to cut um, stairs in this wall because this always gets me I'm going to spare you guys the details I will find another fortress and then I will get back to you guys when um when we get there okay see you in a bit i've just come back in to say there is a mod called roots 2 that is in the pack and um you find little cottages cottages i don't know stone buildings the kind of funny shaped so if i come back out a little bit you can see the cobble it's not quite a building but it's something 
quite irregular shaped, but you can tell it's supposed to be something. They have thatch on top. And if I can get round and get in. Like if this was um not in peaceful, you would probably find zombies or something in here. And um they have Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Where'd it go? Never mind. Alright. You have chests. Set. I'm too high up. And the chest will have loot. So lots of useful things. But if you ever see them in the wild, you know that's what it is. It's a a cottage from the uh, Roots mod. So yeah, just came in just to tell you that. And then when you're finished, you just um, get back out. Usually I just end up nerd polling out. Oh, there's some... Hello, chicken. I won't kill you today. I do want the carrots, though. I do want the carrots. Oh, enderpearl. Okay, cool. And I did work out... Don't throw it high up in the sky, because you can't see what's going on. Okay, that way. Got it back. Yeah, don't throw enderpearls in the forest. And don't throw them high up. Because I've seen, I've seen um, videos where guys would throw it like high up. So I thought, yeah, that's what I have to do. But actually, you don't. So I'm going back out. Is that broken? Oh, no, it isn't. I am full. Yeah, that's how many trees I had to cut down just to get my ender pearls back. Oh, there was some glowstone in there. Very nice. So yeah, I'm back off again. I will see you guys hopefully this time at the nether, f the nether fortress, the end fortress. Or if I find something interesting. Okay, I think I found it. Um, we're over a thousand blocks away from home, and um, the ender pearls aren't going anywhere other than round here. So hopefully, this is it. So I'm now starting to mine down. It suddenly occurred to me I don't have any torches, not because we need to torch up from. Um, mobs or anything but you won't be able to see anything so I might have to teleport home and get some torches and come back you can tell I'm just so organised <laughs> with this thing but I have no idea how far down this is I mean, right now because it's up in, the, up in the hill so right now we're at sea level I'm very tempted to switch to um to um what's that mode? Not survival, spectator mode and see if I can see it, but then that's taking all the fun out of it. So we're not going to do that. But I'm not digging straight down as you can see, I'm doing a two by two thing. Actually it's still quite bright considering that we are um, down a hole and I don't know why it keeps flashing like that every time I dig but it's easier to go down in a 2x2 two two configuration rather than just dig straight down as you probably know because if you're watching this, you're you're prob you you you're probably I don't if you're some kind of 
our Minecraft master, you're not going to be watching this because it's definitely not really a challenging pack at all. It is meant to be for beginners. Uh, where are we? Y33. But, um, but yeah, I'm not digging straight down. I am digging two by two. And of course, trying to find this this thing is like a needle in a haystack. But when I was throwing the ender pearls, they weren't going anywhere other than... Ooh, emeralds. Do I have a diamond... A diamond pick? I've got a silk touch one, which will work. Yep, we have diamonds. But I don't know how low I would, I would have to go. And fortress, fortresses tend to be quite big, don't they? Oh, that's why you dig. Right, we're not falling is a ravine okay I am holding shift okay right we need to mark this some lapis yeah we are over a thousand blocks away So if I throw an ender pearl, what is it going to do? So you can't even see where it goes. Ah. Oh, planks. Okay. Do I have an axe on me? Um, no axe. I can use some flint though. Where did I put the flint? Alright, we'll take the pig pet off. Because we don't need you. Right, I apologise so much. I can't... I... <laughs> Let's see if we... Oh no, we have sticks. Didn't we just pass some coal? Here's some coal. See, I'm thinking. Uh, the sticks are in my backpack. Alright, sticks, coal torches okay mine shaft that's good right, where did we come from from this way wasn't it yep so let's just light this up a little bit so we can see what we're doing let's get some more coal one here and slate that usually means that there's lava above Okay, mine shaft. Well, this is now turning out to be more interesting than I thought it would. Um, I will get back to you guys when I find something, because at the moment it's just a matter of inventory management and trying to find something interesting. 
So, yeah, let me get back to you guys when I find something worth telling you about. Guys, I think I found it. I was digging around the area because it wouldn't move from around here, so I was just getting very different spots and just digging. And um, I just bumped into stone bricks, so maybe this might be it. This just might be it. That's stone, that's stone, crack stone bricks. I think we got it. I think we have it. Yep, we do. We have a fortress. That is awesome. And of course to get out. Now the next thing. Alright, so this one. I was putting down, um, what you call it, beacons. So then I would know where I am. But of course now the next thing. Oh, I thought for a minute that we had actually found the portal room without having to do anything. But we're not that lucky. The next thing now, of course, is to find a portal room. But, oh, there is... Oh, there's a library. Well, let's see what chests we can find. Oh, and they've got the silt touch. Pickaxe. Bookshelves. Galore. Lots of bookshelves. We need bookshelves. So I'm going to clear this room. And I'm going to keep looking. And then, hopefully, the next time I come back to you guys... Ooh, that's steep the next time i come back to you guys is when we have the portal room and we're ready to jump into the end remember i said i was going to come in if i found anything strange there's a guy behind a villager behind the door archaeologist okay um I have never seen this before. <laughs> I'm loving the socks and socks and shoes and and um shorts combo. But um yeah, there's nothing in your chest. You have nothing really of interest. 10 bones gives you a emerald. I don't even have 10 bones. Or I might have actually from killing animals. I've got 52 bones. That could work. That could definitely work. Alright, 10 bones. Alright, is that going to trigger? Oh, and he's got a bed. Very nice. Is that going to trigger some trades with you, though? Twelve bones for an iron pickaxe. No. <laughs> Eight emeralds for an archaeologist hat. Can I make an archaeologist hat? Um, doesn't look like I can make it. No, I can't make it. But I'm not giving you um, emeralds for a hat. You're not that wonderful. Strange little man. Right, back out again. Hopefully, ne I keep saying that. I'm not going to say anything. Not going to say anything. I will see you guys in a bit. Finally, I found it. And actually, it wasn't too far from where we came in. So if you remember when we first came in there was like there was this wooden floor and this square like structure in the middle and I went off somewhere that way I think I got yeah I went somewhere off in this direction and I went down and so on what I should have done is come this way down the stairs and there is the portal room so we need all 12 eyes of ender i've got seven here yep we've done it okay i'll jump well let's jump in together uh okay okay shift we're literally on a platform 
in the middle of nowhere. What are those? Ender dragon. There shouldn't be an ender dragon. This is on peaceful. This is on peaceful. So, not quite sure why it says ender dragon. But it's not doing anything. There's no enderman. Do we have to kill it? We... I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is on peaceful. Right, let me go back here. Uh, yeah, we're dying. Okay, this is unexpected. This is very unexpected. It's on. It's supposed to be on peaceful. All right, let's get some end stone then. Um, pickaxe. I wasn't expecting this at all. I figured it's on peaceful. You're not going to want. You're not going to have the ender dragon. But I guess that doesn't work. And of course, we have no space. And a pouch. Put the bone in there. End stone. More end stone. I guess what we could do then is um get the ender dragon to kill us and then we just go home. Where are you? Please kill us. I'm here, but I don't really want to be here. No, it's not actually doing any uh, move. Oh, so the the dragon's breath will kill us, but the ender dragon just isn't doing anything. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to let it kill. I have a sword. No. <laughs> Why am I nauseous? Okay. Respawn. Now the next question is I put everything in I put I should have put my backpack in the end of, in the end of chest. Well, at least we got the end stone. But I'm going to have to go back and kill the ender dragon. That was a bit weird because like I said I wasn't expecting anything in the end. Because we're on peaceful. So, but, um, but yeah, we got to the end, which is fine. I'm going to go back. Let me just put this in the, um, smeltery. I'm going to go back and I am, where is it? I'm going to get my stuff back. I'm also going to go back with, um, with snowballs, because you can kill the dragon with snowballs and a bed, apparently. Okay, I'm back. Um, came to get my stuff. Oh crap, I don't have enough room for everything. It's all going to do spawn. This is not how I saw things going. Do I have ender pouch? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, ender pearl, bookcases, all of that. Stupid dragon. Nope, not doing anything. I did bring glass bottles. 
but I don't want my stuff to... Oh, crap. I don't want my stuff to despawn. Um, bread. Do I still not have enough, um... Oh, cr crud. Teleport to my death. No, 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 don't kill me yet. Not yet. Where's all my stuff? Oh, we go... I hope I haven't left stuff. I hope I, I hope my things don't despawn. Oh no, they're not going to despawn. Well, the stuff that was there before, if that makes sense, is one of my graves. Okay. Nope. Whatever that was. Oh, God. Okay. Finally got all my stuff back. And to be honest, don't care about killing the Ender Dragon. All I want is my stuff. I would just want my stuff back. So, got the ender pouch, open it up, put everything in, and it's pretty you can't put the ender pouch in the ender pouch. Alright, dragon, you can kill me. Because everything's, everything's in the ender chest, so that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, so that was not what I was expecting. Definitely not what I was expecting. Because, like I said, we're on peaceful. So I would have figured there's no ender dragon. But I got some end stone. I didn't get any chorus fruit, though. But um, I might have to go back and get some, Not that. I might have to go back and get some chorus fruit at some point. Basic peaceful recipes. Shell Cashel. We need chorus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and have a look and see if I can find some chorus fruit. But at least we found the um the fortress and we can get to the end. I will explore it at my leisure. And now I know that there's a dragon there and the dragon will kill me. I will take precautions, but I'm not going to be fighting the dragon. That's not going to happen. If you're expecting a dragon fight, not going to happen. I think this would be a good, uh, a good time to finish the episode because, quite frankly, I'm tired. <laughs> I've, been rec I've been recording for about three hours. Yeah, about, about three hours trying to find the portal then trying to get you know all of that and it's really time consuming but like I said at least now we know where the portal is we can go back and get stuff I can go back at my leisure and get the things that I need to do the um the peaceful recipes so thanks very much for watching I'm I'm kind of sorry that it was such an anticlimactic episode but um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.